Hello sexy, I've got my head up because my hair looks ridiculous, I've not done anything to it and I don't want to do anything to it just for the sake of making a video, that seems odd doesn't it, dressing up for you on the internet, I have done that in the past, it's weird when, when you're doing videos often, you have to worry about what you're going to wear to do a video, already you have to think about not wearing the same thing too much at work and in front of you, your friends, like there'll be friends I'm seeing and I'll think what did I last wear in front of them and I won't wear it if I, like it's mental the way I think about dressing and I do it the same on video and there are some videos I look back and go oh my god you wore that t-shirt within the same three videos um, I've never worn this hoodie on a video though I don't think anyway especially not a hood up I've never done that so this is exciting isn't it the color of this hoodie might be appropriate for the subject that I'm going to talk about because I'm going to talk about homosexuality um, it's a practice that I partake in and um, <laughs> I uh, was recently listening to a podcast which featured Mr. Troy Savan from YouTube and he was talking about making his coming out video and his coming out video is the most watched video on his channel and he said it's really good because it means he doesn't have to tell anyone that he's gay anymore he's got this whole thing where just when people meet him they just know because that video is so successful and I was really jealous because that's one of the worst things about being gay is meeting people who obviously don't naturally assume you're gay if you are incredibly camp and you know uh, whatever then you're actually very lucky because people will just assume it of you but for someone like me I'm sort of in that middle ground where it could be, couldn't be, doesn't really, don't, don't really know. So then people don't assume it. So then they assume the other thing, obviously, that you're heterosexual because that's more common. And then you just have to live this life of sort of being like, when do I drop this into conversation? Because otherwise they're just going to bring up like girls with me or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's annoying. So I'm going to tell you my coming out story. I'm not going to come out to you like Troy did because I've already done that just through general videos, haven't I? So when I came out, I was 17 years old. I probably decided I was fully, properly actual gay when I was like 13, 14, but didn't really need to tell anyone that early, do you? No, no need. No need. Some people do, which is incredible. I didn't feel the need. When I was 17, I got a load of new friends, told one of my friends first. He was called Lewis. I told him over MSN. I remember my finger hovering over the button, like <laughs> hovering over it, writing the words, I'm gay. I'd just written that because I told him I was going to tell him a secret or something like that. I can't remember exactly. I'd written, I'm gay and I was fucking holding my finger over it like oh god this is like I wasn't scared because Lewis was a nice human being who wouldn't have been angry <laughs> upset or rejected me from his life but I was just still still weird it's like a part of you that you've kept secret from everyone forever and then in just that split second all of a sudden that's not your secret anymore I think that's what's the weirdest thing about coming out press the button anyway off that went all fine of course and then I told my other friends and stuff and then my friends knew for this whole summer um, when I was 17 and then it got to the end of the summer and I thought right I've had a really good time with my friends it's now time to tell the family and I started very well I told my cousin Shelley first she was the first family member that I told my cousin Shelley because she's my, my age and you know she's more of a friend than a family member anyway so that was good all went fine told my brother Leo he would later in life come out as gay himself um, which was not a surprise to anyone different opposite from me he is if you meet Leo you're going to assume he's gay rather than straight it'd be amazing if Leo was straight so then the whole way through life I was being assumed straight and he was being assumed gay sadly no he's gay as well so yeah the next person I wanted to tell was my mother and I left it about two months maybe maybe just over a month between telling my brother and my mother and I kept meaning to do it I was originally going to tell her on the top of oblivion roller coaster at um, Alton Towers I didn't do it in the end I was really going to do it and because I, I just thought it would be a really good way of doing it and then it's the awkwardness that I didn't want I didn't want the awkwardness of having to do it so I thought the top of there you say it and then you fall down there's no awkwardness to be had it's gone the moment's gone brilliant I thought didn't do it though so I, I was actually really that was probably the worst time I've ever felt about having to tell people was when I was at Alton Towers because the, the plan was there but I hadn't done it and I felt really annoyed with myself that I couldn't do it and hadn't done it and I remember uh, like one night in particular when everyone was drinking cocktails at the hotel in Orton Towers I was just walking around outside having a little think to myself all sad and melancholy um so anyway told her about a month later I text her saying I've got to tell you something later I'm texting you this because I will not tell you so I need to tell you I've got to tell you something so that you nag me to tell you it's a good thing to do you should do it if you haven't done if you're waiting to come out and you're just finding it really like annoyingly difficult do that force yourself into it so she came home 
came to my room, what have you got to tell me then? I was like, oh, right, this is happening. I'm already annoyed that I texted you earlier. <laughs> so we took her outside, we went for a walk. She was walking to go uh, out for a couple of drinks with her friend and we walk, I walked with her towards that and made her try and guess the whole time or sort of talk about it. She was like, just tell me, just tell me. I wasn't telling her, I was not know what was going on. I was just having a walk. And then we finally finished very poignantly, kind of pointing at, poignantly, 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 at um, our old um, road that I kind of grew up in. Um, and we stopped there outside the uh, playground that I used to play in. And I was like, we need to stop now. <laughs> so I was like, I gave her a hug and just sort of said I'm gay and then that was that and she was alright, she was fine I think, she's got gay friends and stuff, she used to hang out at the gay bar in Folkestone she's fine and she's you know a nice human and isn't a prick so it was all fine, then I had to tell my auntie Amy because she told Amy that oh Drake's got something to tell me so I had to go and talk to Amy who was also walking, she's always walking around if you know, if you know my auntie Amy you know she, she's never static <laughs> uh, so I found her, talked to her for a bit, tried to make her guess um, in the end I didn't even tell her um, she was just guessing all sorts of things and I kept saying no 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 and it basically transpired that we both knew that she knew and uh, when she said goodbye I was like okay bye she's like thanks for not telling me anything and I was like okay bye right off we went that was good that was fun and then next day I had to tell my dad who I genuinely knew would not react badly in any way um, but it was still a bit weird and I made him take me for a drive instead of a walk um, and he, we stopped outside uh, overlooking the sea uh, a place called East Cliff in Folkestone which is my favourite place in Folkestone and uh, we stopped there and he said he was saying is it about this is it about that or is it about school is it about and then he finally said is it about sexuality and I sunk down in my chair <laughs> I was like yes um, and his reply was that's what it is then isn't it and um, then he drove me home we got, I think we were silent we must have been silent he drove me home anyway stopped outside uh, mum's house and then gave me a hug and then uh, I went, went in I really love that memory it's one of my favourite memories just because ah, oh, it just was really nice yeah there's my coming out story. Was that exciting? I'm sure it was. If you are somebody who's watching this and hasn't come out and wants to come out and have just found this from typing in coming out video or something, then I, uh, yeah, do it. I know I'm very lucky and that you might be surrounded by some people who might not react quite as brilliantly, but in my opinion, those people aren't worth your time and if you really love them then you can probably change their opinions by being a person that they love and being gay. And if they continue to be homophobic and shun you and don't talk to you, then honestly, that was probably a good thing that you got them out of your life because they sound like a terrible human being. And um, yeah, that's all I've got to say, really. Oh, unless you're a parent, unless you're a parent who thinks you've got a gay child, or if you're a parent who you don't think you've got a gay child, if one of your children does come out and says they're gay, fucking deal with it and be nice and also expect that that might happen. I think that's one of the worst things is that a lot of people probably just don't expect that it might happen and then when their son or daughter does feel like they're gay, they feel like it's going to be a big deal because it wasn't expected. I think talking about your, talking to your kids about the fact that homosexuality exists and that you think it's all right and you think it's normal is really important. Not just because, not, like it's not redundant, like that's going to help them realise that gay people are normal, even if they're not, and is also going to help them if they are. So there's absolutely no reason that that conversation isn't going to help them in their lives. So please talk to your kids about homosexuality and don't make it this thing that's different, because that is the problem in society. Anything that we treat our children, tell our children is different, is going to make them grow up and believe it's different. And that goes as far as transsexuals and transvestites and everything of people that do stuff that doesn't harm us, just tell them it's normal because things that don't harm you are normal and fine. And telling your kids that things are weird or people are odd is not helpful to the future of our world. Thanks then, I'm going to go and rob a bank. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's like I make it up. <laughs> Genuinely fall off the books every, <laughs> every single one.